Hi, it's Leia here from the Center of Key. Today I have a special guest who's going to be joining me in this video, so stay tuned to find out who that is going to be in a minute. First up though, I want to share with you something that I'm really passionate about, and that is the environment. I've been really concerned for a long time about the way humans have been treating this planet. Um, we've been choking it with rubbish, we've been digging it up, we've been um, mining for fossil fuels, burning those fossil fuels, everything that's been going on that has, you know, is causing this planet a great amount of stress. So that's why I'm really excited to hear about this initiative that's been started by two really prominent YouTubers, uh, Mark Rober and Mr. Beast. Now they've started what's called the Team Seas campaign. And Team Seas is all about raising money to remove 30 million pounds of plastic waste and rubbish from the oceans. So metrically speaking, that's about 13 and a half million kilograms. Um, that equates to 30 million pounds of rubbish. So quite a significant amount of rubbish that we're talking about here. Now, what you need to know is that all the money raised from the Team Seas campaign is going to support two key charities, Ocean Conservancy and the Ocean Cleanup. And they'll be using this money, um, every dollar, US dollar, to remove one pound of rubbish from the oceans. So it's a great campaign and I've got someone here who's going to share with you why they're also passionate about the environment and why you should contribute and support the Team Seas campaign. Here we go. I would like you to meet my friend here, Mr. Turtle. He is my pet, my companion, my buddy. He lives in a tank just behind my desk, so I see him every day. And he is a river turtle, um, a short-necked river, Murray River turtle. And I've had him for about mm, maybe six or seven years. So as you can see, he's a, a, a river dweller, although he doesn't live in a river. Um, but if he was in his natural environment, he would. And you know, even though this Team Seas campaign is all about cleaning up the oceans, all the rivers, or most of the rivers of the world, actually flow into the ocean. So rubbish that ends up in rivers ends up in the ocean and can also harm creatures like Mr. Turtle in his natural environment. Now, I'm just going to pop him down for a moment. So as you can see, Mr. Turtle is passionate about this too. But to get on top of the rubbish problem, I'd just like to share three quick points that I think are important to keep in mind when we're trying to protect and stop plastic waste and rubbish from going into the seas. So the first one is to really consider what you're buying. Does, do the items that you purchase come wrapped in plastic? Do they come in disposable containers? So for instance, if you're getting a takeaway coffee, um, do you need to get it put into a takeaway cup? Could you in fact use a keep cup? Or could you in fact actually sit down and have your coffee in the, in the cafe rather than getting it takeaway? So all these decisions, really small decisions that we make throughout our day will have an effect or an impact on the amount of rubbish that we create. Even though we live in a society here in Australia where we have rubbish collection and recycling programs, it doesn't matter because rubbish can still end up in the gutters, on the streets, get washed into rivers and then get washed out to sea. So it's really important to make those decisions right at the point of sale. So think about what you're buying, do you need to buy it, can you find an alternative so that you don't need to use plastic. Now the second tip is to consider that if you do need to buy something that comes in plastic or something disposable, that you do dispose of it correctly? Can you reuse it perhaps before you dispose of it? And when you do dispose of it, make sure you put it in the right receptacle so that it can either be recycled or if it needs to go to landfill, to go to landfill. And then my third important point that I'd like you to consider to really try and prevent rubbish ending up in the waterways and in the oceans is when you're out and about your day if you see some rubbish on the sidewalk, on the street, in the gutter, in a park, somewhere that you can easily get to and pick it up, then I would really encourage you to actually do that, to go and pick up that piece of rubbish, 
find a bin to put it in, or take it back to your car or take it home and dispose of it there. I know that can sound a bit yucky, picking up someone else's rubbish, and obviously there's some items that I'd probably suggest you avoid collecting, but maybe you can keep a pair of disposable gloves in your bag that, that you carry with you for that purpose, and maybe a plastic bag to put it in. Um, but that being said, you know, a bit of paper or a chocolate wrapper or something on the side of the street can easily be picked up and put in the bin. And that's going to stop the waste ending up in our waterways. So Mr. Turtle and I would like to encourage you to contribute to the TMC's campaign. They've already raised $10 million and it hasn't even been one week. The campaign runs until the 1st of January 2022, so you still have almost two months to contribute. If you want to find out some more information about the Team C's campaign, the charities that they're supporting and what they're aiming to do, find some links underneath this video and you'll get some more information there. Alright, so that's all from me and Mr Turtle. Thank you for watching this video. It's been lovely to have your company. And we look forward to seeing you in another video real soon. Bye for now.